be super funny, super down to earth. Uh, let's see, what else can I say about her? She's from Durham, North Carolina. Y'all get it up she comes to the stage for Miss Big Ten. Now, now, you know, that's the shit you gotta do. We, we 45, so I can't be doing the shoot and shit, cause that'd be like, oh shit. <laughs> you know, I can't do the juju on that beat, I need to shoot, shoot to that seat. Okay, I, I got a knee, I got a knee brace on under these little pleather pants. I can't be doing that shit. And then, I was trying to be my Eddie Murphy, but I decided not to wear red, because then I was looking like that hot dog y'all like to eat down here. <laughs> You know that red snare hot dog. So I decided to go with a little black pleather. You know what I'm saying? A little pleather, leather, leather. So I did that. You know, I was thinking of some things. You know, I started thinking exercise is not my friend anymore. You know, you get to a certain age, you gotta give up on that shit. Fuck that 2018, 2019 thing. I'm going to the gym. Y'all ain't gonna worry about me at the gym. I'm going. Okay. I'm gonna mentally think my fat away. I'm leaving the power <laughs> of mental thought, of positivity out here. You know, this is shit that I'll be talking about. So I was laid off for a while. You know, when you laid off, you start thinking something. I'm too old to run drugs. I'm too old to give the, the hoo-ha ray. You know what I'm saying? I can't charge for this shit no more. Um, what am I going to do? And you know, anybody a good friend of mine, Bacardi Bay Breeze, he's gonna give me another one. And, uh, I figured I wasn't gonna do what Tiffany had, and so I can't have a bottle of Ciroc. I gotta have two cups. That's it, that's the minimum right now. You know, I gotta do it like that. But, I, you know, how many of you guys got kids? Alright, I, 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 yes. I got two. So I got one that's autistic, and the other one is typical, whatever that shit is. So I mean, I, they mix it up together. And one day we was going in the Target, and these young ladies was going in the Target, and they was next to us. And my daughter's on this side, and the people on the other side, and they had their Muslim garb on, their hijabs, right? My daughter, who's autistic, leans up and says, ninjas. <laughs> I knew the lady heard the shit, so I said, I'm so sorry, no, no, no. So I tried to explain to her because it's cognitively, she understands, she reads on the fifth grade level. So I was like, you know, grandma goes to church, she wears her church hat, you wear your church dress when you go. And she looked at me and was like, ninjas. <laughs> All those ladies had to do was pull out some stars and some nunchucks, and my whole parenting skills was out the fucking door. That's all I have to say. You know, it's certain things that I be thinking about, like, so I tried to date, and when I went like dating online, I hate that shit. Dating at 40 is, is horrible. Okay, resuscitate my ass. And I, what, what I did, I got on plenty of fish, which was plenty of freaks. Okay, I got on tender, it was too tender. And you know, and okay, Cupid, he couldn't fucking find me. He used to shoot shit and me nothing. So it was horrible. So what, what I, I started dating from people who was telling me, oh, date my friends. So I started dating this guy, and the first date, this is not first date conversation, but I'm thinking I'm just going to get some wings because the bitch got to eat, you know what I mean? I thought I was just going to get some wings, and first date conversation, he wanted to tell me his whole life story. So I said, mm, 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 let me just eat these wings. Then he told me, yeah, you're so pretty, you so this, your lips, your that. You know, I have ED. I said, ED? Oh, he educated. Then, my dear mind started moving away from the wings. And I said, did erectile dysfunction? Is that what you said? And he was like, yes, yeah. so I had to keep a straight face. And I was like, wow, yes, mm. And then he slid over his cell phone, which had a picture of his pump that he uses to pump it. I, I cannot make this shit up. I'm just trying to not choke on my wings, drink my beer, and get the fuck out of Buffalo Wild Wings, okay? Real quick. So he showed me, let's just call it the Dick Pump 3000, okay? And I said, oh wow, look like a PVC pipe with batteries at the bottom. This is wrong. Wow, okay, this is what we do doing now. And he's like, oh, it takes you 30 seconds to a minute to get up. I'm not gonna be there for that, D. 
do, you don't have to tell me. Okay? So then, when I leave, I'm thinking to myself, he needs somebody with equal dysfunction. I'm gonna need her to have super KY jelly. He's gonna have to have something else going on. She's gonna have to have the wet, wet 3000 too. Like, that's what they're gonna have to do for each other. It's something. So, when you date, when, when you date at this age, this is new to me. Sliding up in the DMs and hi, my name's Steve, and here's a dick pic. All right, I have seen so many dick pics. I think I seen 58 dick dicks. Okay, I should be getting my masters, my damn in dickology. Okay, at this point, I think I have a little bit of PTDD, post traumatic dick disorder. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm just a little traumatized by the pain, you know, I, I am. So, how about this? I was speaking to, um, I think Jill Scott is, it just got served with papers because of the way she molested that microphone. I, I was thinking about it, you know what I'm saying? She molested that microphone. She, she just served with some papers on that. They need to be suing her. You heard that Jimmy Fox, Jamie Fox actually too, got, got served because a lady from back in the day said he hit her with his penis. Y'all didn't hear that? <laughs> if I was in the vicinity of a penis, I was supposed to get hit. I'm just saying. <laughs> I had some combative things going on in the bedroom too. I mean, I got a 40 feet. I'm about to hit somebody with a boob. I need to know if I'm going to get sued. I just need to know because I don't have that much money. I just need to save up for my lawsuit. <laughs> I was thinking about this, you know, celebrities I give a fuck about, celebrities I don't give a fuck about. So, you know, you heard DJ Khaled don't go downtown, you know, on his wife. I think that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she need re reciprocity. Listen, she used to be sliding that black car, and that's how she get her organs, orgasms. You know, sliding that black car, ooh. She's gonna sign for a man in another hotel to give her her orgasm since he's not doing it. He can't say nothing about we the best. We ain't shit because you ain't doing that French. Okay, we, we not the best. You ain't gonna do another one when you ain't doing the first one. But I need to know. Khaled, you're gonna have to get, do better, be better. All right, and I stopped watching reality TV. I know, a lot of y'all watch that shit. I cannot, my brain was going crazy. I got sucked into them damn Kardashians, them fucking sirens, and I was thinking, the only people that got away from them was Reggie Bush and Ray J. What did they have in common? Black mamas. <laughs> Lamar Odom, his mama ain't care. That's what happened with him. That's the only cause. But the rest of the motherfuckers, they gotta get that it. Cause if Kanye's mom was still alive, this great great ass wouldn't be still here making four babies. I was like, what is going on here? They are going crazy. Them sirens be calling them in. Y'all don't know nothing about Greek mythology. Them bitches be on the side of the road with Botox and all that shit. And calling them on cops and shells and just bringing them in. And they just brought him in. Lamar ain't had a chance. Bruce, he said, fuck it, I can't beat him, join him. <laughs> just give up on life. What happened? What are they doing to him? And and the young ones, at least the young ones got a little a little scent. They spit, they, they get them and then they spit them back out. See, Kanye kind of don't know what to do. But them sisters, they kill them dead. They suck them dry. They walk them around like vampires, just looking for them. <laughs> Ray J so happy, he was like, damn, I only made a video. That's all I did. That's all I did. And then Reggie Bush's mother was a sheriff. She, she pulled up on him with a clock. So, you know, it, it was certain things that had to get her boys out of there. Her boy out of there. I was also thinking, you ever think about all those dumbass sayings that we grew up with? Dumb shit like, you'd rather beat them, you know, beat them than join them. No. Bar borrow um, from Peter to pay Paul. Why? Why did I do that? Piss like a racehorse. Was somebody measuring that shit? <laughs> like, how did they come up with this stuff? You know, I, I started thinking about some other stuff too. And my, my last thing that was on my mind, I had, 
I had this thing with my kids. I'm tired of them asking for my food. Y'all ever do that? They be looking at your food on your plate. You got the same shit there. Stop asking me for what's on my plate. I didn't make it any, it was no colorization over here. It's not like it's black and white on yours and color on mine. Why are you asking for my food? So this is what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna stop buying Oreos. I'm buying ginger snacks. You ask for my candy, I'm eating brooms. You want my fucking favorite Apple Jacks? No. We eat wheat checks. <laughs> Some motherfuckers gonna stop asking for your food. You gotta switch it up on them. You gotta eat the shit that they don't wanna eat. That's it, that's it. And my, um, my last thing I'm gonna wrap up with was I went to Georgia for a graduation. Anybody ever been to Duluth, Georgia? You ever heard of Duluth, Georgia? Okay, okay. So I went to Georgia. We went to this mall. It was 75% Clothes. I'm looking like, why am I in this mall? It's called Gwinnett Mall. Google that shit, okay? So we're in here and we're walking. They tell us to go to the beauty supply store. I wanted to go, you know, Black Girl's Dream. I want to go to the beauty supply store, you know, because you can get dressed for the club, the church, and everything in the beauty supply store. So I was walking for it. I was, I said to myself. We get there, there's two security guards there. One at one entrance, one at the other. In the food court? Like, hmm. Now, as you can see, I love my wig. This is my Michelle Obama right here. Man, um, I get up in there, and I ask the guy, can we go through here? It's a little dark. He said, no, you can go. So we start to walk. As we start to walk, we get there, and we're in the middle, there's broken glass. My black people's senses did not kick in. I've been hanging out with my white friends too long. I get up in there and I see Sam Goody. Sam Goody been close for 15 years, y'all. I'm still walking. Nothing is really telling me to go back and run. I get to the second security guard and I say to him, what is going down here? It's real creepy in this food court. He said they film a Netflix show here. Start thinking, what creepy ass Netflix show they you probably say. Right, so I'm going. And I said, I finally get to the Haven of Beauty Supply Store by myself. And I'm bringing it up and I said, hey cashier. And I was like, what show do they film down here? Stranger Things. Okay, that shit is gonna be off the chain. Yo, scariest shit, I couldn't even, I couldn't even sleep the night, the rest of the night. I kept still having to think. Whatever that set was, it was creepy as shit. We got back. And we um, googled it, and a fucking lady got um, she got killed in that mall and buried in a food court. Oh. Crazy! I'm never going places I don't know or Google anymore. It's just crazy. It's crazy. Listen, guys, I appreciate y'all. My storytelling, my little jokes. Have a good one. Yeah, this raggedy ass lace front. Ladies, look, if your lace front.